Hi, it's Dave Johal for the Boxing Voice. Pleased to be joined by someone who's about to make his pro debut, SK Sakib. Khan, how are you, Sakib? Yeah, not too bad. Is Sakib showstopper Khan? That's my. That's going to be my. Shakib, name. Sakib showstopper Khan. Yeah. Good stuff. Be, good stuff. So you're going to be campaigning at the uh, the coveted welterweight, which. Uh, Long list of fighters there, one of which you'll be fighting on Saturday night, uh, Conor Ben, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But let's talk about yourself. Um, you're recently, sorry, you're about to turn pro. You're in talks with a few sort of promoters at the moment. Yeah, just like the, 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 big, the big promoters. Um, I'm probably in talks with one of the big, uh, biggest promoters now. Um, and just, um, just, just in talks with them and hopefully um, get something across the, across the line. Good stuff. I mean, can you elaborate on who you're in talks with? Or uh, I can't really say that on camera, um, but um, you definitely you definitely hear from hear from me on my Instagram. And um, once uh, once the agreement is made, I'll make a big, massive uh, statement. So Sakib, um, look, we've got a lot of um, welterweights in, in the country at the moment. Um, you're recently going to be joining that scene as well as a professional. Um, what does that mean for you, that division? Oh, uh, I'm like as a as a world away, I'm probably like the biggest world away out there. Six foot two, rangy, long, power in both hands, and uh, I can't I can't wait to uh, showcase my skills and honestly just 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 uh, bring a devastating performance to the, the to the pro game. And, uh, yeah, just just looking flashy. Well, with your height as well. I mean, is that a, is that a weight that you've gone down to, or is that your natural weight, or is that something that you you probably go up as well, won't you? I mean, six foot two. Yeah, so like I'm still young and I haven't really filled out yet. So hopefully, so in the amateurs I used to box at 64, uh, at six foot two, but now because of like COVID and like just SNC, um, I filled out a bit more. So so now I'm pushing on to that that work that well away category like 66.7 so I think I'll make that easier so that's why I decided to move up um, instead of going down to 63.5 what was your your amateur record like um, the amateur record was oh sorry your amateur game like what what uh, were, were you on any sort of trials or anything or um, so I won the so I won the London ABAs um, national finalist um, uh, King of the Ring, I was a silver medalist. So, so I, I had a, I had a decent amateur career, but because I live I live in Slough, so so like um, whereas I wanted a lot more fights because I've been boxing for 12 years, and to have only tw 28 fights in 12 years is is uh, it's not really like appealing like people people would think I'm um, inactive or um, having been always at the gym or stuff but that wasn't the case I was always in the gym but because I live so far I was never getting any fights and because like the boxing is not the same in, as, as in London like I was only getting one fight a year but when I come down to Repton that's when I was getting like eight fights a year in and I was just progressing like like next levels I mean, you, you mentioned Slough as well. Um, the Azim brothers from yeah. Slough, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Recently signed yeah, with, yeah. Um, or I don't know if they've been promoted by Shane McGuigan okay. and his and his father, but they recently started training over there. Yeah. Um, you're from Slough as well, so I mean, have you have you have you had anything to do with them? Have you do you know them? Have you sparred with them or trained with them? I've uh, I've, I've met I've, I've met them. I see them I see them bad in Slough, and it's just like um, just like hello, hi, how you doing? But it's, a, it's like I never really um, got the chance to speak to them. But um, from what I've heard, they're lovely boys. Good stuff. And what's it like training with uh, with Will and, and all the boys here oh, in O'Hara? It's, it's amazing here. Uh, uh, like sparring with O'Hara, it's like quality quality rounds. Like uh, honestly, you'd pay to watch uh, me and O'Hara sparring. Uh, he's brought me along uh, from from the first part we've had. He's just like improved me differently. And uh, Will was just uh, amazing, like support behind the scenes, and always like really, really being that that coach um, to push me on and bring me into the pro game now. And what's it? Um, I mean, what what's the journey look for you then? So I know you can't say who your promotional campaign is going to be with potentially. Yeah. 
but in terms of coming out uh, and announcing your, your fight, when do you think that will be? How many times do you think you'll be out this year? Because Corona's put a lot of stuff back, hasn't it, as well, mate? Yeah, so um, so I hope to be out by the mid-September, late September. Um, that's when my debut is going to be. Um, and it just hopefully get about three, three times before the end of the, before the year finishes. So, so three fights under my belt going into the new year. Um, I can't really ask for more, do you know what I mean? With uh, everything that's been going on. Good stuff. And um, very well, two final things. Well, first of all, big fight in welterweight this Saturday night between Connor the Destroyer Ben and uh, Adrian Granados. Uh, will you be watching and how do you think the fight will go down? Um, I will be watching the fight um, and um, I think obviously I'm going to be back in the Brit, fellow Brit um, and I see Conor Ben doing a job on him um, um, just I think with his um, with his power and just uh, with his combinations and speed I think he I think he gets the job done in the late rounds Good stuff and where can people follow you Sakib? Uh, my Instagram is uh, skshowstopper under Scott Boxing um, and yeah, just just fo just follow me up. You're gonna see some lightning, super super skills uh, on my pro debut. Uh, just hopefully get the job done in in fantastic fashion, and the showstopper will be released. Good stuff. All the best, mate, from the boxing voice, and we'll be in touch when it's uh, when it's fight night. Thank you. Uh, very uh, much appreciate the interview. Um, thank you. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from title, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.